Well, I just wanted to do a video because um, I'm really pleased with my Game Boy Color, um, which is uh, I've upgraded to have the funny playing IPS2 screen, and the screen is um, absolutely awesome. And I just thought I'd just because I've got so many uh, Game Boys, I thought I might just do a little. Uh, video with the different screens so you can see the differences really so this is the obviously the original Game Boy and the screen was absolutely um, awful I had one of these back in the day and even even with good light even with good light you couldn't really uh, see anything backlight in this is a bit of a no-brainer actually and, um, let's really uh, get the most out of this game boy. um so then there's so then came along the game boy color and this is actually this is the uh the donor shell that I used to upgrade my um to the ips screen and um Actually, I was quite surprised by how good the screen is. It's actually pretty. It's actually a pretty reasonable screen. Um, it's smaller than the IPS by about twenty five percent. You probably see there. So it's not backlit. So you have to have it in the light. But actually, in a reasonably lit room, you can see this pretty well, and that's that's a big step up from this Game Boy because even in quite bright light, you couldn't really see anything. With this one, you've got a color screen; it's not backlit, but you can actually see the screen pretty well, and the battery is good. So this one only takes two AA batteries, whereas this one takes four. Um, and actually, the screen's decent. The screen is good. In fact, I'm, I was actually two minds whether to actually upgrade it, and it's only because I, I bought the kit that I went ahead with it. But I actually wouldn't mind to have uh, one of these in my collection that isn't backlit as well, because I think um, there's something quite nice about just playing it in the original format. It, it is quite good. So that just takes you down to sort of the, these two options, uh, and I bought this. Uh, so this is the GB Color with the English spelling. This is a Chinese clone of the Game Boy Color and it's pretty pretty good. Uh, in fact it's really good for the price of about I think I paid about £35 for this and you can still buy them for, for around the same amount. It's a little bit bigger in form factor than the original. Um, it's a little bit chunkier. Uh, it has very different but buttons so these buttons feel much Harder to press and not as good as the as the original Game Boy buttons, which is probably the the worst thing about it. What is nice though is it's got these proper start and select buttons, which I really like that. And the other thing about it, which is not so great, is that it has a um, weird aspect ratio. So it's not the proper square um, ratio of the original Game Boy Color. It's a little bit stretched out, and that's just because of the the screen um, that you get with it, but as you can see, it's a really nice backlit screen. Um, I don't know. It's just for some reason I got Boulder Dash in here. It's a really old retro <laughs> game, even by the standards of the Game Boy Color. So I just got this because it was two player. And we could play it on the link cable. Good thing is that if you take the game out and switch it on, then you've got a um, hundred over a hundred games. Well, I think there's actually 66 because there is some repeats, but there's some really good stuff on there. You know, uh, Pitman, um, which is really fun and super rare, so it's actually a really hard game to get. So that's on here. Players are sort of boy or girl. Probably seen this game before. 
We gotta kill these dudes. Push the blocks. So let's try a Game Boy Color game. We put the same, we're so Motocross Maniacs. Um, let's have a look at it on this. And then we'll have a look at that on the Game Boy Color with the IPS screen, IPS2. Obviously, I'm still no good at playing any of these games, especially on the camera. So it's a little bit stretched out in aspect to ratio. Um, it's a bit more pixely, I don't know if you can really tell that, so let's just compare that. So this is the funny playing IPS uh, version 2 screen. You get the proper Game Boy logo for start, so that's something really good. Oh, but look how it's like a modern TV screen, isn't it? It's really clear, there's no pixels. You just do the same thing on the same level. You get the idea. Oops. But just look how sharp that is and how colourful it is. I mean that's that screen is really good. Now I'm playing a bit of a random obscure game. <laughs> I don't even know if this got released in the UK, I've never never seen it, but it is quite good actually. It's got a little course editor that lets you make your own courses. Um, and it's pretty fun. So as I've already said that I've I've had to use a donor case, which is a real shame because I love this teal case, it's really nice, uh, it's great quality, it's a really solid unit and this is original uh, and it's really lasted the test of time, there's hardly any scratches on it or anything so I would have liked to have keep, kept it in this case but the screen, now you can apparently modify this case to fit this but um, that looked quite complicated and I didn't really want to have a go at that so I ordered the new screen from Funny Playing and I ordered a, a modified case with that. So this case is uh, specially designed to fit this screen with um, the minimum ease in terms of installation. Now you do have to do some soldering to, uh, to install this and it's, there's actually some quite fine soldering and actually the other thing was uh, I would say that the instructions weren't the best. There are a few videos online that cover this but even the video that was the closest one to the kit I had had a different um, had a different uh, style of sensor so, you, so there's actually a sensor up here, I'll see if I can show you and it alters the brightness so it's touch sensitive Um, so that, it, I couldn't really find any instructions on how to fit the version of it I had, so I just kind of guessed, <laughs> to be honest, and luckily it, it was all fine. Um, there are other um, settings, or maybe it's start and select together, that's it. And then you can go to different settings there, and that lets you change the screen so that you can put sort of fake pixelations in there if you want to but um, I think that the way I've got it is the best 
Um, so yeah, uh, so there's some different options really. So, so this one is great for forty pounds. You you can't beat it. That's that's an absolute uh, amazing device. It plays Game Boy Color games. It plays Game Boy original games. It comes with loads of, uh, loads of games built into it. And the only real weakness is that it's a slight difference with the aspect of ratio, and these buttons aren't quite as nice as the original. But actually, it's great, and the games that are built into it, um, even when the batteries run out and you can't play a, a cartridge, you can still take the cartridge out and play these for another sort of hour or so, so um, it's a great, great little thing. And of course the other option is just to keep it original, so I kind of, you know, wish that I had um, kept this one original or, or had an original one which I haven't got yet, so I might add that to my collection, I might look out for one. Um, because I really like the original and some people have said actually that with the backlight the games uh, look too colourful. So they're actually designed to work um, in a darker, you know, with, without the backlight. Um, so I'm not sure about that. I think the games look absolutely brilliant, illuminated, they're really colourful. Um, there's loads of great uh, Game Boy Colour games. Uh, I'm just dipping my toe in the water of the collection and looking at some of the more obscure titles, some of the more unusual things. And this game, I think it's just absolutely awesome with the graphics. One of the best looking games. Oh, obviously it's a brilliant platform game as well, so... Um. Obviously, I'm always uh, terrible. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like because I think it looks awesome. So, yeah. Cool little thing. So, thanks for watching.